Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is a new trading day. Today is April 26, 2021. It is the beginning of week number 17 and I need to do better. April has been really stinky. I made no money in April and I have less than a week to do so. The markets look like they're, I don't want to say they're turning. It may rebound a little bit. I don't want to call it, I'm not going to call it a red day, but let's see what happens. Let's put on our first trade. So let's go to E-Trade. Let's put on our first trade. I have, I, I don't have a lot of cash left. I've been losing money on S&P 500. I want to put on a trade that, so I want to put on a trade for the S&P 500 and Iron Condor because these are not going too well. These are way too close to the price here. So I want to put a new one on. I'm looking at this one here. The odds, we can look at the odds real quick. On the put side, a free 90 is a minus 16 delta, 9% chance of happening. A minus 16 delta. And on the other side, I'm looking at a free 35 here. And you can see here, free 35 is 18% chance of happening or about a 15 delta. So on both sides, they're roughly a 15 delta on each side. So I want to put this on and see what happens. So after looking at that a little bit longer, I'm going to move that down to a free 90 on the put side and make it a, it is a 15 delta instead of a 19, but the odds are happening are 9%. So I end up changing it slightly and this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to hit the refresh button and you'll see that this changed slightly. I'm going to just change the numbers here to make sure that this trade can go in. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let's put in the order. I'm going to do free contracts. I don't have a lot of cash left. I'm hoping this will go well. This is the impact on my account. It's a it's a $10 wide, so it'll cost me $3,000. You subtract the cash up front, and this is how much it's going to cost me. So I collect the 470 and you'll see that here. So this is how much buying power is going to cost me. So let's put in that trade. For the next trade, oh, let me just show you what happened. The trade went in. You'll see that the S&P went across. I collected a dollar fifty-eight or dollar fifty-seven. So I want to do my next trade, which is a right blockchain. I'm, I do this every week. It doesn't matter what day I'm doing it. It's it's up two dollars six percent. I'm gonna roll this down every week. I roll it down. Nothing complicated here. You see that it just rolls down. I'm gonna select one bucket lower. So I'm rolling it down for a small credit. Now there are times where if you want to, if you want to just, you can do two weeks if you want. It doesn't really matter how you do it. If you do two weeks, it's a little bit larger credit. You see that? It's a little bit larger credit, but you can pick a larger bucket. So something like this, if I want to do a two week, I'm just trying to get ahead of it. I don't really care if you do one week at a time, two weeks at a time. It doesn't really matter. I just, I was trying to keep it. Let me just take a look at the calendar. So that will push it all the way down here. Whereas if I keep it over here. So I'm still five weeks away is what I'm doing. I'm just rolling it five weeks out. So we'll just roll it. And here you go. You can see that riot roll down again. I pushed it out one week. Roll it down one bucket. Let's do the next one for riot. And just like that, the other right went across. Here you go. Now I did something a little bit different. I am going to split them up. Normally I kept them on the same date. So I pushed this one to a two weeks out and I moved it $1 down and I collected the premium. You can see here another $70 here, but I wanted to start staggering them just to see what happens. Blockchain, right blockchain can still drop. Bitcoin has been very volatile in the last couple of weeks. So what I'm going to do is try to push one out further, collect some premium so that when blockchain or, or Bitcoin goes up, what I can do is roll it back in closer in time. And I already made the profit. So I can do something like that where I can bring the price closer to the market price and collect some more premium. So I'm, so I'm going to split those the way I'm playing those two. The next one is, let me try to roll Editas. I bought or I simulated a buy right last week. I bought 100 shares of Editas. I put a cover call on it. My cover call is here. You see that I'm still safe. I'm out of the money, but I want to roll it now. I want to try to collect some premium now before Editas starts moving up. 
I don't want to hold my shares for two weeks or three weeks. I want to try to hold this thing a little bit longer. So I'm going to roll it now. For the next trade, you see that four minutes later, I got a cover call on MJ. I, I am going to move this out a little bit further. I did roll it up $2 and I collected a small premium. This is $30. So let's do the next one. And then the next trade just went across. You see that rocket? I just put that in right now. Rocket just went across. Again, I'm doing the same thing. I rolled it down $1. This is a cash to curve put. I rolled it down. I did change the date a little bit wider. That was the only choice that I have. Again, a small premium, $60 or a little bit under 60. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, back to rolling again. I have to roll this one up. I'm going to try to collect 35 cents for it. So let's put that in. And the next trade went across six minutes later. Fastly, I did roll it out one week, $1 up. And again, very small premium, another $25 or $26. And that's all the trades I'm going to do today. The markets did look like they're heading back up. That's why I didn't want to call it a red day. You see NASDAQ is going up. S&P looks like it's pretty strong. I think it's still going to break over 4200 It may keep on going up. I think we're going to see more all-time highs. So with that being said, hey, leave a comment below. Let me know how your trading is going. I hope your April was better than mine's. I am not doing so well, but that is the life of a trader. In any case, let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. And as always, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.